What is going on dudes? Welcome back to Legends Arceus. In the last episode, uh, we were doing some exploring. We called Cleaver, figured out what was wrong with it, and fixed it. Well, we didn't really figure out what was wrong with it, but we fixed it. So in this episode, we gotta go up here and talk because there's a new Diamond Clan member who came into town at the end of the last episode and needed to talk to our commander dude, so we're gonna go up and talk to her. I forgot her name, um, but that's one of the main quests. I currently have a side quest selected of, the, of a strange ponyta that was on the message board I believe I was recording when I took that. Anyways, off screen I did figure out how you can change the time you can go into your room and you can sleep and I went and I checked out the Drifloon thing at night and then while it was also at night I happened to find another side quest from the girl who leads the construction core or whatever um, and she needed help figuring out what was in her house like burning berries and random things and Whatnot and turn out to be a Pichu. I'll play those little clips. It shouldn't be too long. Anyways, to start out, we're gonna go talk to Kamado. Alrighty, here we are at our guy's office. Hmm, so it's come to Saluna as well. To suggest that Pokemon are not nobles, that are not nobles can be fancy. Ursa Luna? A excuse me, what? I received no word from Marmana Ira, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you're my thanks, Miss Arizu. You did well to form us of Ursa in this situation. No problem. Adam and Scott's handful running a clean on Ursa Luna's warden couldn't, wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the guys seem the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursa Luna's warden is Mrs. Kalaba of the Pro Clan, is it not? Why is everything of the Pro Clan? <laughs> the Pro Clan just suck, apparently, right? Oh, the warden. She's the most narrow minded. Ahem! <clears throat> Bound by tradition. <laughs> it's exactly right. She does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. But then she can't handle them herself, so it just becomes a huge spiral, and everybody hates her. I have a new mission for you, Olivia. In order for you to study Ursa Luna and the Crimson Mylands. Oh, I order you. Excuse me. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. What the fuck is in Ursa Luna? Next year, you'll be sent to investigate the Crimson Mirelands. You'll find Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the escape landscape itself is harsher, with steep remains and sea seaside cliffs. It's not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Salacion Ruins. This is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Is that like an evolution of Tur Teddy Ursa or something? I gotta go probably do inventory management, and I also want to go to the Obsidian Fieldlands first so that I can go find whatever that strange ponyta is. Oh yeah, by the way, I also went, I didn't record this, but I went and did the ball game 
where you throw the balls at the targets and uh, get points. I got 14,000 in my first attempt, and so uh, I was rewarded with great balls. So that's cool, and I got a couple feather balls, so now I have those, and then I made two more because I, getting to level two, uh, unlocked it for me. I also collected all the will-o'-wisps of the, well, the, the souls of Spiritomb that are here in the town. There was only, like, six or something like that, so I got all those. Oh, she not only doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Marlins. Of course, she now got quite a shack, she runs out, bring it back to me instead. Where's it luck in your search? Is it an Oddish? Must be an Oddish, probably. I can't, I'm not thinking of any other three-leaf Pokemon at the moment. Anyway, I want to go check out this peculiar Ponyta. My guess is it's going to be shiny. Oh, here's our, here's our boy, Ray. Hey, Olivia, you mind helping me train a bit? Sure. What do I got to do? That stuff would feel a lot better if I go researching my own or I beat you. Oh, well, that ain't gonna happen, friend. I'm sorry. What are you starting out with this time? I'm Junior. Okay. Let's go, Chai. Time to wreck face. Okay, good. I dodged hypnosis. That would have been very frustrating if it hit me. Goodbye, Mom Jr. And I hopefully should be able to one-shot the Pikachu, too. Yes. Perfect. Good job, Ochai. <laughs> Ochai's too good. That's what happens when you solo a game with one Pokemon at this point. Oh boy, Pikachu's gonna be angry with me. Again. Sorry. Not sorry. <sighs> Seems right, the one who could defeat Lord would be would beat me too, I guess. Thanks for that battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Still sprays. Hopo berry and bugwort. You know lately these space time distortion things have been popping up here and there. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them, but it turned out there were legions of Pokemon inside I barely made it out alive. Ah, uh, you better be careful around those distortions, alright? Anyway, time to make for the Marlins camp. Will we see it? Will it just be a cutscene as soon as they get here? Or will I just have to look around for it? That is indeed what it is, it's a shiny ponyta! Hello! Oh, it's an unusual ponyta! There's an Eevee too. Nope, nope, you don't see me. I'm gonna go around. I wanna catch that Eevee too. Okay, I got the Eevee with the heavy ball. From behind. So there we go. It did sparkle though. I am very excited to get this ponyta. Because maybe that will... Maybe that unlocks shiny Pokemon now. Because I've heard that... I think I mentioned this. That shinies are, are like the easier to find in a sense. I'm go So I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can lure it with this... Ornberry. Also, Sky... Sky balls are really good for like... Okay. Threw it from behind with the Great Ball. And we got it! Alright, I'm excited! <laughs> we got a shiny! <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here now, because that's all I needed to do here. This is a, a Will of the Wisp thing over here at Windswept Run, so we're gonna go check that out. Just because I'm here in the Obsidian Field Lanes, we're gonna go take care of shit. Oh, that didn't work. I caught it. Holy shit. Well, I fell down the thing and startled it, so... Wait, it was sleeping? I got it unawares from behind with a heavy ball, and I couldn't catch it. Are you serious, game? Oh, it's a Chimchar! What are you doing at the top of the tree there, little guy? Alright, well, that's kind of cool. What level are you? I don't know if I can aerial ace you and successfully... No, you will not survive. There is no, no doubt, no doubt. Alright, switch out real quick. Let's go into the Ponyta. This random other Ponyta that I've had. We're gonna swap it out though for the, the shiny one. 
No way! Well, that's unlucky. Ember does less damage. They shouldn't have killed. Okay, well, we caught it this time. I completed the ponytail by uh, catching it, so that's cool. I need to go... Oh, wait. Do I have enough for level 3, or what's happening here? Oh, I... I already have... Alright. Return to the village. I can't believe I'm already at 3 stars. I guess I have been doing a lot of stuff. Alright, I should actually check this. I have, I have a bunch of merit points, so what it... Uh, want to trade Pokemon? Oh, this is how you trade Pokemon. What the heck? Oh, this is how you get the stones! Oh! A Linky... Okay, so this is how you evolve traded Pokemon. Interesting. You know, a friend of mine, a gal, was surprised to have a herds out in the field and he couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. It's not without us an odd thing to be amazed by, but now there's some ponytail blue flames. It's not as much to think there might be all sorts of them out there. Now I'm just talking about Pokemon, ponytail mind. You know how many different colored Pokemon there are in the world. Love is very core, keeps trying its best to research them all. Thank you. So, I guess now I can find shinies. Here's your Will of the Wisp, lady. Why was she out there to begin with? That's what you you wanna you gotta know. That's it. That's what was was all right. Oh, so was Pokemon all along. In any case, the guys just like promised, Service Core really are a talented bunch. I have to have explained the whole thing to Waka. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. God, will the wisp? <laughs> no, Sammy says Okay, well that works. All right, let's move on. Mass outbreaks. What does that mean? Oh, interesting. Abra, but I don't need Abras. I already have a Kadabra. Kadabra! I need to probably catch more Abra, because I've only caught one, but it's okay. I think I still have the Kadabra on my team. <laughs> I haven't used it once, though. Here we are at the Crimson Maya Lens. Hey man, my girl comes to the mountains. There are cheaper boys who will Pokemon and plenty of others besides. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it, though. Oh, that's right. You're heading for the Silesian Ruins, aren't you? They're off that way if you need a pointer. See the entrance way over there? Okay. It's not that far, actually. You know, I wish we could tell when or one of the space time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Okay, space time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, you're brave enough to enter, you might find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm kind of both you decay. Server works best you can. Be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? Sorry. If wild Pokemon give you in trouble, I suggest you go to training grounds and have Captain ZC teach Pokemon some strong moves. I have a level 26 Duat. I think I'm okay. You want a graceful Pokemon. Uh, Rosalia. Okay. I will try to complete the, the Rosalia. <gasps> it's a Ghastly. Immediately. Well, that didn't work. That's the unfortunate timing. Alright. <laughs> no testing strong for the Ghastly. Okay, well, it's just gone. <gasps> There's my boy! He fell asleep, too. Can you get my party, boy? Yes, I got up born a dream. Let's go! <laughs> Yay! I didn't expect to see Carnivine just appear in front of me. Uh-oh. He saw me. No more. He, he gets gone. Whoa. I'm guessing that a Pokemon I get at some point can break it. Can you break it? No. But I can go around it. <laughs> Wait a second. It's, it showed me something on the ground. Oh, that's a Pecha Berry. Speaking of which. I was talking about them last time. Do you like the rain? Oh my god, another Stunky just spawned. What the? Really? That's so not fair. <laughs> I'm trying to go catch the Onyx. 
Another, another one of these guys just spawns. Why are you faster than me? And the onyx fucking woke up. What is this over here? Is this just one of those fern things? Soft foot root. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Why why can an onyx move like that? An onyx should not be able to jump. How did you miss? How are you faster than my freaking Dewat, bro? You're a goddamn onyx. Just go. A space-time distortion seems to be forming. Where? Maybe it'll tell me in the map? It actually tells me- oh, it's over here. It's to the- directly to the right, over this way. Can we scare him the shit out of it? That appears so. I almost just fell off the edge of the world, that would have been real bad. Oh my god, are we gonna actually Skyrim this? There it is, I wanna check it out. I found a diamond settlement. You're from the galaxy team, aren't you? You know medicine cure headaches? Lives together these little ones, I tell they've been suffering terribly. She could use some help, and the medicines that Fred worked at all. So many people in the galaxy team, surely you must some sort of healer. Could you ask him some medicine? Okay. Oh, we need to go all the way around Lake Valor. Maybe I can get to the space-time rift or whatever before it disappears. I'm struggling to go over the rocks here. I'm struggling to Skyrim it like I did in the other area. A lot of the rocks are just steep enough that they're, it's hard to glitch them. The hunter. Fuck you! I hate you and your shadow force. I... are you so... It took all that fucking time and effort to get here, and then it just disappeared before I could actually explore it, because... I couldn't fucking get over the goddamn mountain. God, I gotta get over the fucking river now. How do I get over the river? I have to go all the way back, so we're just gonna fly. <laughs> just go away. Oh my god, it's fast. That's a boss right horn over there. Ow! Fuck off, Carnivine. Why is it? I was actually not. All right, dude. Something. <laughs> what is happening? Stop. Stop. Oh my god, I have no idea what the fuck just happened there. It just threw two pokeballs and then freaking. Oh my lord. How am I back here? It fucking circles all the way around. I'm. S Damn it. All right, let's go check out the Slacy on ruins. Something saw me. Probably that carnivine that's just out there. Uh, we'll ignore it for now. Or it could have been that Psyduck. It looked like a Psyduck was running toward me. Anyway, dodging is everything. Yes. God, stop. Stopping. Hey. I don't get it. I don't like it. Who is that? It's an... Is it an older woman or... It is. Okay. I'm Kalaba of the Power Clan. Why didn't Kalaba to you? I don't know if that's a good voice. Oh, now, would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one that saved us all the space-time rift. Uh, that's right. Mm, I see, I see. I had heard about you. You caught a cleaver on this frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What did you did is hardly different from building a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run around catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your salt, or the Diamond Clan, for that matter. That young lady, Arezu, offered to help, but, this associ but associating with the Diamond Clan it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer to not be distracted any further. Stupid. Cats and damn millennials. Ah, Olivia, how about you show me the strike that lord that could quell even a frenzied lord? Sure. I bet if you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. I don't know if I could actually decline his battle or not. Or it doesn't matter, because most battles you can't actually decline. Oh, I love the fact that there are cries echo in this place. Ochai is too strong. I should probably switch someone up. 
put someone else in. I mean, I don't have any permanent team members at the point, aside from Ochai. That's the, that's the problem, really. Is that everyone else I'm switching out eventually. Oh, he maxed out Waterfalls. That's really nice. Good job, little buddy. I wonder what its power becomes. Next up is Gibble. Ooh. Agile style. So you get to go first. How, how strong is it? Becomes 75 instead of only... Whoops. I didn't actually want to click it. So that blows. Anyway, I put Carnivine and our shiny Ponyta on our team. I also have a Stunky on our team. We'll just go into Star Evia. Just make it simple at this point. I'll keep the Stravia on the team for now, I suppose. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. M what? My goodness, that was fun. I don't know why I did battle instead of battle. Battle. But it's fine. Someone got something. Such prodigious strength, and let me heal up your Pokemon. I appreciate that, so I don't have to waste revive. Well, now, I think that settles it. Settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? Well, the thing behind, clearly, that has a hole in it. I was going to mention it, but then we got in a cutscene I didn't. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Silesian ruins made off of the fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the no notorious misfortunes? The trio of bandits that have even hit us ginkgo guild motions more than a few times. Not the, regular, not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mrs. Calaba is doing everything she can to retain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase the leads all over the place. So what do you say, kind madam? Why not help find the fragments for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'd be, I'd happily lend you a hand. My sister swiped my west too, and I'm no king or guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it from me to let them get away vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myelin's camp. Perhaps worth checking out? I think so. I need to go there, actually. There's a... God fucking... Stop! I hate when it just makes me stop r running. Like, I, I don't understand it. And it's really frustrating. Hey, look at that. She sparkles when she comes into battle. First time I've sent her out. This Paris wanted to fight. So I thought, who better than a Sinner or Shiny Pony Talk? And that's something I have to do to complete Paris's Dex entry, so that works out. I like it, it makes a little bring every time it comes out of the ball. I like that. Oh, what, dude, I happen to walk right to where I need to, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna TP back to camp so I can go get that thing behind it. By the way, I went and uh, upgraded my star level to level three. I unlocked the recipe for great balls, which I made a bunch more. It's just basically regular po Pokeball recipe with some iron, the iron trunks. Ooh, Boon get hypnosis. Interesting. What does double hit do in comparison? This user adopts a hard hitting stance to increase the damage by 50%. So it's a status move in this game that's really weird. Hypnosis is 70 accuracy, so I think it could be worth it. Maybe for now I swap for Ember? Okay, here we are at the campfire. Again. It's a campfire. Someone must have been here. Clearly. Now who might you be? You're not some straight traveler by look at you. I'm gonna guess it's one of these girls, yeah. Oh my god, the, those are the people that were on that board. So what we'll reason go poke around here in the middle of nowhere? You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong she was, assume she could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. 
Thank you, Spider Four Leaf Clover. Well, I'll soon have you singing double. I'm the middle sister. I'm the one Clover you can't pick. Head so in and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. I don't even know if that's the same voice for her. With the infamous band of trailer, Miss Fortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. I don't know who was talking. I wasn't looking at their mouths. Let me handle this, sisters. I only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxic Rook. Let's douse this fool in poison. It is Saturn. Alright, Bandit Coin. Let's do it. What do I have up front? I have blue. Well, it's not the worst Pokemon in the world to have, especially if it's got dry skin. Well, let's go for our Flame Wheel and see what happens. It's not bad. We got a burn. That's actually beautiful. Except I forgot it doesn't help prevent a shock. Stunky might be able to handle this, because Stunky can't really get touched. Come back, little girl. Don't want you getting hurt. I named her Blue, because that's the name I have for the female Rapidash and also female... Um, Mudsdales, and it's a female, and it just also happens to be blue, so it kind of helps. Alright, I think Stunky's got this. Is it just, is it, okay, actually, status conditions are only not, are, they're, they're not permanent either. Alright, hey, two of my non-standard Pokemon handled it. I'm not fond of this outcome, but he's still bet on plowing fields for the Galaxy team. Were you part of the Galaxy team? They might have been. <laughs> the Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. What would you? What use would you get out of it? Look at the Candace look like. <clears throat> the weird writing on a missing thing, a stupid thing, was that kind of treasure. Her her voice has changed. But it turned out to be worth the slab of junk. I effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I want to help Ursaluna. I don't know what that is, if I'm being honest. Goodness, how selfish of you go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. Some of us simply surviving another day is all we have. And I got a score to settle with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in the days of spring beneath soft crust of sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, the spirits lash by uncertainty? Your days are number, Galaxy fool. We'll see about that. Okay. I also like how our buddy Volo said he was going to help, but then Volo just did not show up. I forgot that I can use my Stantler, you know? And go a little bit faster. Like, for some reason, Stantler stops doing its jog, too. Like, it's not just because we're in the Salacian Ruins or anything. Good work. Very good work, indeed, Olivia. You got the fragment back safe and sound. Well, about Calabra's reputation, they say. She's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Parkland all she has. Ever since she was young, she lived a prime years here in the Subi region, trusting in the guidance of almighty mighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team, or that she she simply hates them and loves the Poe Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm us to Luna's frenzy, Olivia. Raging Pokemon in the oh yeah, definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. I the thing is is like I still don't know what Ursa Luna even is. That's the truth of it. I don't know what that Pokemon is. I didn't know about that Poke Hisuian Pokemon. I uh, see you're coming to bother me again. Well, I'll come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wool fragment. What? You went to retrieve the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way for like that's going to a complete stranger like me? I guess you're eager to calm Miss Luna then, hmm? Uh, that's right. Mm, I admit it, I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for Miss Luna. Well, then, let's see that wild fragment. I'm I'm genuinely curious as to what Ursa Luna is, though. Uh, like, that's the one that I don't know, because I, I saw, like, everybody has it in their fucking new Pokemon announced and, like, friggin' thumbnails and shit. That's the only one I don't know. I didn't never saw, and it's like, oh, what? There we go, good as new. 
all lives touch each other. Oh, it's this one again. Right. Uh, lives to create something anew and alive. Let me read what it says. All lives touch each other to create something anew and alive. I see. I saw it means people helping each other like how you helped me retrieve that fragment. I read this passage many, many times. It's the first time I truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Seno's guidance. Hmm, what is your name then, girl? I see. Olivia, please send me your strength so that we may help us, Aluna. That's true, that Saluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be an utter friendly frenzy. I think it would turn to his number state if we can just give him some medicine. I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Uh, Saluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Okay. I should actually buy... I should stop making normal Pokeballs and just buy Pokeballs at this point. wonder where Roselia is. I've seen Badoos and I've caught, caught several Badoos. Caught three of them without being spotted. Also, Staravia has been useful enough that he's going get to get a name. I actually thought it was a female Staravia for the longest time. So, it's going to be Loki. After the shiny one I got in whatever. The Carnivine I just had, I don't know why I have it, if I'm being honest. It's not because I don't like Car Carnivine. is my favorite Pokemon. I mean, obviously. But, it's not really useful because I'm not using it at all. I really do wonder what how how happiness works in this game. Like, I'd have to maybe go see Dude in the Pastures how a Baneri would feel if I had it in my party for a while. So I might do that. Or maybe we just, I just have it in my party at some point and then I end up getting lucky and it just evolves. Because I wonder, wonder what things all boost happiness in this game. I imagine giving them those little extra things or whatever. My, oh my god, look how bright this is in the in the daytime. It's pure yellow. Oh, you can find Bidoof here, too. Hey, little buddy, how are you doing? <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> I was too close to my own Pokemon attacking, and that hurt me, which makes sense. <gasps> Krogrink in the water. God, that's, that guy saw me from a long ways away. I guess I was on top of Stantler. Ooh, there's something shining over there. What the heck is that? And we'll go check it out. Wait. Okay. No way, dude. Okay, that time we got it. Oh, okay, well, I was spotted. Oh, I had dry skin. Oh, no, I had, I got a crit. Well, good job, Blue. I did want to catch it, but that's okay. Oh, well, you got another chance. Holy cow. I'm not even kidding. Oh, God, I started lagging. I reacted, and I luckily was able to get it, so... Ow, ow, how did you... Excuse me, how did you absolutely one-shot my ponyta? How did that work? Okay, caught the Krogon, but geez, that thing gave me some trouble. Poor ponyta. How did you miss that throw? Come on, keep moving. <gasps> the Papatas, I needed that. Okay, this is... Holy shit, I barely got away from that. Oh, no, that's a Hapowdon. See if I can ca get lucky and catch it. I did. Nice. Now I just have to catch a female and then I can complete another request. Wait, I think that might have... Yep. Wait. Alright, come get me then. Oh, no, it called for its, its, it, it definitely called for its buddy. Oh, I, actually, that's cool. Oh, God. I'm trying to get a Pokemon out. Oh, man, I didn't want to throw blue, but that was the first Pokemon I got, so. Oh, God. 
Oh god, they alerted the hippo on. How did they see me? I caught the other... <laughs> god, that thing scares me every time. Set up a new base camp by the bogs. Alright, what do I have to do? Alright, I don't know. We'll have to see. Is it gonna be like freaking Terrytown shit where I'm having to get a bunch of wood and money? Over here, Olivia. Marcelon is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Paw Clan. Never feel sure the moment I play my Celestica flute. What is our saloon? I'm actually genuinely. Whoa! Okay. That's actually really cool. Is that an evolution of Teddy Ursa then? No, I'll show you a medal there, Salona. Remember, our son is Pokemon very dear to the Power Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Alright, so how do I. Do I just fight it? I guess it's just an all out fight. It's level 26. Okay, so I'm definitely a higher level. We're gonna Sword Stance first. Wait, could I have, I have Agile styled Sword Stance? Is that what it allowed me to do? It's gonna agile style me. Baby doll eyes. Alright. Clever. Yes, okay. So uh, let's do agile style sword stance. It's not gonna adjust turn order, apparently. It's gonna get me back to neutral. He's gonna go for slash. Fucking ow, dude. All right, go for strong style water pulse. I don't know what type this thing is. It's a rock type. It's gonna go for agile style, baby doll eyes. Please do it twice. Nope. Uh, it didn't matter. He didn't need the crit. Well, it's a rock type. Now would have been good to have the carnal line that I swapped out of the party. It's a... Never mind, it's a ground type. Just don't die. Alright. <laughs> I knew nothing about this Pokemon. I do not feel bad. I just assumed it was a rock type. Because a bunch of the other ones got rock, rock type ones, so... Strong style aerial ace. Finish this thing off. Okay. Oh my god, it survived?! Poor Loki, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, you have Mach Punch, you can do it. Wow, I'm getting absolutely fucking annihilated by this thing. If I had played it better, then we could, I could have easily defeated the Ur Ursaluna. Also, if I knew what type it was, that would have helped me out too, but I didn't. So I winged it. It didn't go too well. I sit on my part, darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. I'm coming to make you make you all better. I have a special medicine of a club Pokemon. It's clear I need poison poisoners or Pokemon's body. If poison was causing a sitter in his rage, it's sure to calm him down. We tell it call it Toxagon. It's so potent we only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. Hey there, dear Ursaluna, you calm down now, haven't you? It's not very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. But we still have you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you call quite clever with Frenzy, I can see a strange light rising in the sky all the way from here. And a strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, not was he glowing. And why is this clinging to her his coat? It seems like some kind of powder. Look for a diamond clown or razor. Now I see all people need to come and tell me about her saloon, I wonder. Oh, I'm sorry about something important. Play your Sesco for the me, won't you? Oh, he's the one that can break rocks, isn't he? Our saloon open that. Open his heart and learn well the song you're playing. We got the earth plate. Not bad. Our saloon is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say he's digging for treasure, and even the treasures may not always glitter or clean. Oh, okay. 
Now, Galia, Commander, no, what transpired here? Child of the Galaxy team. Boo. Dig for treasure. Where? Ursula didn't rush any, toward any treasure he says is in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure. When you find the spot that makes him react particularly strong, you might find something nice. I guess we'll have to explore. Alright, my entire team is still fucked and they didn't heal me, so that's cool. Oh, Kitty Ursula! No! Get down! This allows me the opportunity to get my own Ursaloon. I want it. Oh my god, can we actually- No, we can Skyrim the hell out of this. I was thinking we had to fly, but we can get up here. Yes, let's fucking go, dude. Break this game wide ass open. It's definitely possible, but I don't want to spend any more time doing that. I don't have space for a, a king's leap. God dang it! I really hate that you have to go all the way across Lake Valor in order to get down there, because there's no fucking bridge, man. And the only other way would be to get freaking Basque Legion or whatever it is that allows you to serve, man. And that's probably still a ways away, I would imagine. Alright, I might freaking get destroyed in here, but I want to see what happens in... Okay. Green shards. I don't have any space for them either. Oh god, okay, nope, let's go the other way. So you can only hold one, one shard at a time, okay. So I want that Dawnstone, so I'm gonna get rid of something else. Oh god, no! How did you hit me? Alright, we're out. I can get that, the goddamn de- Alright. Alright, give me this, I'm out. Are they able to follow me out? No. I wanted that Dawnstone, but I couldn't fucking find it. Again. Well, I didn't get the chance to. Stop stopping! Oh my god, you're actually upsetting me. I hate that so much. I don't know why. That was actually the reason I got hit twice. Both times. Because she just fucking stopped. You don't fucking see me. I heard a lopping in there, too. Oh, God. They came out of the distortion? They're allowed to do that? Threw the lop ball at the lopping. We'll see if I get it. Nope. Alright, Levinson. Oh, Olivia, I think got something stuck to you. Hello. Was that a Pokemon? Can I go get it? Come and think of all I did mention their carvings and resemble writings in the walls of Slicyon ruins. Suppose the Pokemon we just saw was a species of multiple forms. Perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this fairer Pokemon. Now I'm gonna add a special section specifically with that species to your Pokedex, Olivia. Do I have to catch all of them? Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. What's this now? A little like Marcus seemed to appear in the section I just added. And that was your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is in this new species, I wonder what that could mean. The arc phone didn't go off though. Okay, press Y while viewing the cover of your decks to jump to unknown research notes. By deciphering cryptic symbols from the notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. Okay. They possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs, so you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them if you can. Alright, we'll have to take a look at that. You see, you got 20 Pokemon. Yes. Five Badoo. <laughs> I heard another Brasilia, but I didn't, never saw it, so unfortunately I didn't get it. I got $7,000 for that. That's very good. I got half of them with a the backstrike. Alright, I completed the Paris decks. Badoo, too. Nice, and I almost completed Teddy Ursa. Just by repeatedly catching them. What would you like to do now? Well, I'm going to continue. Um, but I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate it. I'm going to go do some random shit here while I'm in this area when I get the chance. And then the next episode, we're going to continue on with whatever I need to do. I need to go report something to the captain, I think. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you all later.